Welcome back to the channel everyone. Um, this morning I'm out here. Um, we're going to take a look at those two baby calves that I put on the nurse cow. I don't think I've showed you guys those in a couple weeks, so I'm going to give you an update on those. Um, kind of show you what, how they're doing and where they are now. Um, and yesterday I was outside for probably two hours. I got a pretty bad sunburn. And then this morning, right now it's 43 degrees out here, so... Um, pretty big temperature change, but I'm not complaining. I'm supposed to end up being like 70 as a high today, so um, pretty good weather. But So, about the calves. They are currently, um, well the nurse cow is in with our heifers here. Um, we just put the bull in with the heifers, so um, they should be getting bred now, and they should calve this next spring. Um, Here's a nurse cow. We'll see if she'll let me get close to her today. There we go. Anyway, she's losing all of her winter hair. And there's some beef heifers. There's another one. I think we have 15 beef heifers in this pen, I think. Those are going to be as some replacements here. Um, here are the calves. This white one here, he tends to be afraid of me most of the time. He's not as friendly as he used to be. Um, hey, there we go. I haven't pet him in probably two weeks. Um, Anyway, then there's this guy. He's he follows me around everywhere. Um, but so on these guys, um, they're doing really well. I think the last time I showed you them, um, they were still dealing with scours, and I'd had them for about a week. And so um, they did get over it. And as soon as they did, and she accepted them, which wasn't long after. Um, we kicked them out here with the heifers because they're getting fed a little bit of grain every day anyway, and that kind of lessens the work we have to do on these calves. And so, um, we'll try to give you a pretty good look at them. Um, this one's grown out really nicely. It's hard to tell, but um, his rear end, it almost looks like a Belgium, Belgian blue. Uh, butt on him, but um, it's not it's just he has a lot of muscling back there and so does he so whatever this um, Brahma bull is that he used Come on, buddy. Let's get up. There we go Whatever bull he used definitely has a well developed rear end on him. So um, both of these guys have big rear ends and um, They're growing really well, so Obviously, he is still a little bit smaller, but I am um, pretty happy with how he's grown so far. Um, he has caught up. And this one, of course, he's just a huge, huge calf for how old he is. And they both ought to be growing really well since they are still on a nurse cow and not on the bottle. So, um, And if you will notice, he does have some hair missing right there. And on his rear end, he's missing a lot. You can see that missing a lot there and down his legs and that is just due to scours he's missing some too so the original scours that he had it just caused the hair to go away so he was completely bald on his back end for quite a while um, now he's starting to get some hair back but um, this guy's doing really well he does have one tick on him so um, they haven't had anything done to him they're still bulls they haven't had any shots these guys are starting to eat some grass they're learning from the others and they're apparently learning some other things from the heifers but um, yeah they're doing really well so this is the update on them um, of course the nurse cow is doing fine we're gonna have to take these guys off in probably about a month so she can get a rest here before she drops um, another calf um, this fall so um so yeah so this guy he, he is getting a hump on him 
Um, so he's doing really well. They both sleeked off, which is nice. I guess it's the Brahma in them. They're really shiny and lost all their winter hair. But anyway, I just thought you guys would want a quick little update on these guys. Um, like I said, I think they're looking pretty good. And once again, the muscling on the rear end is pretty impressive to me. And so if I do end up raising more bottle calves and I get more from this guy, I think I may stick with the Brahma crosses. Um, because these two are looking really good. Yes, they did have some... Um, some initial issues when I got them. I'm hoping he can get those worked out before I buy calves from him again. But they're looking good. They're developing muscle way better than any other bottle calf I've had, so um, they just show it a lot better, I think. But enough about these calves. I will try to give you guys an update here later when we wean them. Um, but they're off to a great start. They should be putting on quite a bit of weight now. So anyway, enough about them. Um, so that may be the end of this video, but I will try to post a couple more videos this week. Just some short, quick little videos on some of the other calves and some of um, some of the older calves that I haven't showed you in a while, including the Free Martin and the Jersey Angus Cross steers. And um, anyway, so that'll be there will be a couple short videos in the week. I'll still post my bigger video next Sunday, but um, yeah, this is it. I can also make a video on the beef heifers if you'd like. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in a couple days.